Allison Sullivan with Stamp Crazy with Allison and today I wanted to show you a really cool technique. Um, I just call it bubble reinker. I don't know if there's a proper name for it or not but let me show you what you're going to need to do this really simple technique but it's so much fun. You're going to need some reinkers so I have got Bermuda Bay and Magenta Madness, Old Olive, Cinnamon Cider, and mango melody i chose these colors because they're very bright and when you do this technique it will um if you used a, a light color it would be too light and look kind of washed out so you want to start with a really vibrant color and i found that these ones worked really well i also tried it with the misty moonlight but i wasn't really happy with the um, result i didn't really like the color that it came out with i think the bermuda is brighter and more vibrant. So here's how we're going to do this. You're going to need a cup of some kind. Now I'm using this clear cup so you can see what I'm doing. I've got about a tablespoon of water in um, the bottom of my cup and I want to add just a drop, like literally, I'm not even squeezing this, I'm just going to drop a little bit of regular dishwasher uh, or sorry, dish detergent, you know, that you wash your dishes with. Just So just a drop. And then I'm going to add several drops of Magenta Madness. So I'm just going to add about at least 10. And then I'm just going to have a look. It's, I'm going to need a straw, so I'm just going to mix that up. And if I think that's vibrant enough, I would leave it. But I'm going to add a couple more drops. This is why you don't want to put too much water in, because the more water you add, the more drops of reinker you need. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is bring in some cardstock. Now you can just use Whisper White cardstock or Very Vanilla or whatever color you'd like. I'm actually using the Shimmery White because I want it to have a bit of sparkle, and I like the weight of this cardstock. So just going to stir it up and then all you're going to do is blow in it. And you see how the bubbles come up to the top here and I can see that they're quite pink. And I'm just going to lay my cardstock on top so you can see how that's going to look. And I'm just going to keep moving it around. Now one of the other things I wanted to point out, you can take it off the sides It's also, you can see, spraying. So you want to put a little bit of paper towel underneath you so that doesn't happen. So there's kind of what we're going for. And I've left some white spaces and that's okay. So the main idea is you don't want too um, deep a cup. You don't want too much water because you'll have to use a lot more reinker. And as it, the bubbles rise to the top, that's what you're going to capture on your paper, just like that. So let me show you some of the other colors. Now you may want to use um, rubber gloves to do this technique um, because it can get a little messy. So I've just set that one aside to dry. So if you can see, this is one that's dried and this is one that I just did. So you can see that the colors do um, kind of fade away. So that's why you want to use a really strong base color. I also told you that I use Misty um, Moonlight and I didn't really like the effect. And this was one of the first two that I did and you can see I got a big blotch here which is not what you should be going for. You really want this um, spread out bubble look. Okay, now surprisingly this is the melody, this is the um, um, Mango Melody which is a very strong color, as you can see. I love this color, but when it actually goes on the paper, it actually looks almost like the daffodil, right? So again, you wanna make sure that you get these nice areas of bubbles. I really like these backgrounds. Okay, this one here is the Cinnamon Cider, which I really like the look of this one. It looks almost like um, stone. So I really like this. Doesn't it? Looks like stones. Gray granite. I don't know. Maybe basic gray would be dark enough. So I'll have to try that. That would look nice for kind of a stone look. 
Then next up we have, this is Old Olive. Now I really like the Old Olive. It's just so, look how pretty this is. Doesn't that look great? Love these, don't this look here. Really cool. So that's the Old Olive. And then lastly, I have Bermuda Bay. So again, I love the Bermuda Bay. How gorgeous this is. And I don't think you can see the sparkle um, in this, from the paper. I'll kind of hold it and hopefully you can see it. So let me show you a couple of cards that I've made. This first one here was the Misty Moonlight. So all I've done is use the background for my card here. And then on this one, I've just used a piece of the magenta and then this is uh, Snowflake Splendor and I've just stamped and added some other uh, words and whatnot. And then finally, this is, this is the Bermuda Bay, which is kind of my favorite, I think. So again, I use the Snowflake Splendor. I've gone ahead and stamped and embossed some snowflakes right on the background paper. So there's the paper, I just stamped and embossed it. And then I've added a few um, die cut snowflakes from the matching dies. And then the words here, I have embossed in white on bl basic black, and I'm just gonna show you what I did. So you could have it like this, which is just snowflake wishes and just in the white on the black, which is very nice. Or you can actually take a blend. This one here is Bermuda Bay Dark. You wanna kinda of go with the dark colors. And you can actually color over white embossing powder. And if it's on black or even navy would be okay, night of navy. You can actually color over this and you just don't have to be precise. It's not like you're trying to keep it within the, you know, the white of the words. And of course, the more you put on the dark, it will, become, it will come. But you won't see it on the black uh, cardstock. It'll just kind of fade away on that, which is kind of cool. So you can just, I'm just using the other end. So you get the idea. I wanted to just um, kind of accentuate snowflake wishes and then leave for a Merry Christmas in the white. So I hope you're gonna try this bubble technique. It really is very fun. Um, just bring in these colors again so you can have a look um, because they are quite beautiful. Um, I think that these are my favorites, the cinnamon, uh, cider, the magenta uh, madness, old olive, and Bermuda Bay. Just really had a lot of fun, and you get lots of um, out of this one little cup. You would get at least five or six um, pieces this size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, so thanks so much for watching, and happy stamping. Thank <music> you.